Jay Thomas was an actor and radio personality best known for a recurring role on Cheers. The role became fairly popular, and Jay was eventually in talks to become a series regular. However, backstage drama behind the scenes eventually prevented this from happening. Not only that, but his character went on to be written off unceremoniously, turned into a villain, and killed off in a humorous way. However, Jay was not the only one causing drama behind the scenes of the popular sitcom. His career survived this setback, and he went on to take other notable roles, including one in Murphy Brown. Join us as we attempt to uncover why Jay Thomas was killed off on Cheers. Jay Thomas was born John Thomas Terrell on July 12, 1948. He was born in the town of Kermit, Texas. As a child, his family moved to New Orleans, where Jay was raised. He was a quarterback on his high school's football team and went on to play in college. Jay initially rose to prominence as a radio personality in the 70s. He could be heard on stations in New York starting in 76, a gig that went on to last until 1979. From there, he decided to use some of the media attention he had garnered as a DJ to get some notable acting roles. He could be seen in the TV show Mork and Mindy alongside blossoming comedian Robin Williams. In the show Cheers, which premiered in 87, Jay played Eddie LeBeck. This character was the boyfriend of Rhea Perlman's character, as well as a goalie for the Boston Bruins. The character was having trouble with his career. It became a recurring role for Jay. However, it was eventually cut short. His role on Murphy Brown gained him a couple of Emmy Awards. He portrayed the character Jerry Gold, who was somewhat of an antagonistic love interest for Murphy. Jay's career simmered down a little bit after this period. However, he could still be seen in some minor feature film roles. The biggest role he had on film was arguably in 1995's Mr. Holland's Opus, where he played a coach at a high school. He was also in the second and third Santa Claus movies in the 2000s. In 1998, Jay began a tradition of making annual appearances on The Late Show with David Letterman. These appearances always came around the holiday season and featured Jay sharing the much-beloved story of how he met Clayton Moore. Of course, Moore is famous for portraying the Lone Ranger. On top of this storytelling tradition, David Letterman and Jay also played the Late Show Quarterback Challenge. Jay's tale of meeting the Lone Ranger himself stems from his days as a radio personality. He was broadcasting from a promotional event at a car dealership that just so happened to book Clayton Moore to dress up in costume as his famous character. By the time the broadcast was over, Jay and Clayton were two of the last remaining people, prompting Jay to offer Clayton a ride home. Clayton accepted and the rest is history. While driving the famed television actor home, another driver accidentally backed into Jay's car and then sped off. Forgetting Moore quietly sitting in the back seat, Jay took off after the driver and eventually caught up to him. Upon confrontation, things got heated. However, when Clayton Moore stepped out of the back seat, the offending party quickly surrendered out of respect for the legendary icon. Jay Thomas went on to make a return to The Late Show with David Letterman every year until 2013. In 2005, Jay returned to one of his original passions, radio. He was hired to host his own satellite radio program, The Jay Thomas Show, that played five days a week. While he found an admirable level of success in TV and films, it's arguable radio was his true calling, and he came back without missing a beat. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the like button, and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Jay Thomas passed away in 2017 at 69. The actor and radio personality had quite the career. However, the peak of his career was arguably his stint on Cheers. Sadly, this role came to an end much too early. Cheers struck a chord with TV audiences as a result of its star's apparent camaraderie. But this wasn't always mirrored by the stars when the cameras weren't rolling. The character Jay Thomas was cast to play was Eddie LeBeck. His relationship with Rhea Perlman's Carla Tortelli became a popular aspect of the series. The producers of the show were gearing up to have Jay come on as a regular. But something happened that put these plans to an end. One night on his radio show, a caller asked Jay what it was like to work on Cheers. Jay had some especially negative words to say, specifically about one of his co-stars. He made a joke about how horrible it was to have to pretend to be romantically involved with Rhea Perlman. 
While this might seem like typical radio banter, it didn't come across that way to Rhea. Sadly, she happened to be listening to Jay's program that night and was not very happy upon hearing Jay's jokes. She went to the executives and demanded Jay be fired and his character killed off. Although the show had big plans for Jay, Rhea's wishes were more important. They followed the star's request, having Jay's character Eddie killed off by a rogue Zamboni. But in order to keep from alienating the audience, the producers were sure to turn Eddie into a villain before his death. As it turns out, Eddie had been living a secret double life as a polygamist the entire time. The drama between Jay and Rhea may be the only drama that resulted in a public firing, but there may have been ulterior motives behind Shelley Long leaving as well. According to reports, Long never got along well with Kelsey Grammer and Ted Danson. Given how much she had to interact with them in her role, she understandably wasn't always comfortable on set. Many speculate this is the reason she ended up leaving the successful show. One of Jay's last gigs was a recurring role on the successful Showtime program Ray Donovan. The actor gave it his all until the end, and he'll be missed by fans and co-workers alike, with the possible exception of Rhea Perlman. Jay Thomas may have been best known for his roles on Cheers and Murphy Brown, but those were far from his only credits. What was your favorite of Jay Thomas's roles? Let us know in the comments section. And before you go, make sure you like this video and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.